What's going on? My name is Jared Fry. I'm from Queens, New York. I went to Sacred Heart University, graduated in 2007. Um, from there, I went overseas for eight years. Check out my story, what I went through, how I got there, and how I survived for so long on Overseas Diaries. I went to Macedonia for two years. Um, after Macedonia, I took a year off because I got injured. Went back to Macedonia, played for Team Finney in the International League. Um, after that, I went to Iceland, which was like straight scoring league. You could be Kobe, you could be Iverson, you, whatever you want, they need you to get up at least 20 to 30 points a game or you're going home, period. After that, I went to Australia, played for a team Adelaide in the NBL, and then I went back to Iceland to finish out. I did a half a season there and I was done. Ron Artest is a good friend of my Metal World Peace. And um, he was playing with me in a pro city and I was killing that. And he, at that time he was with the Rockets and I was supposed to have the workout with them. So I had the workout lined up. I'm like, oh, it's over. Like, I'm about, if I don't make it to the league, I'm about to get paid overseas. You know what I mean? I get that NBA, you know, on my resume, even if I just worked out summer league, whatever. Broke my foot, broke my foot. You know, they went away, tried to come back too fast, broke it again. So I wound up taking out for a year and a half. At that point, a lot of teams backed off. I had, I had uh, two teams in Spain, I had a team in Germany interested at the time, and then I had the Rockets workouts coming up. Um, so, you know, things were looking good, but I broke my foot, everybody backed off, obviously, nobody's gonna wait, it's too many players. Um, so, I wound up going to another team in Macedonia, because I'm pretty much starting from scratch. My second year, 08, when, uh, I think 08 or 09, when a recession hit. Um, now, I didn't know there was a recession, but instead of saying that, the team president was, we were losing games and he told the team, look, I'm not paying y'all until y'all win games. I said, okay. Um, they had a decent, um, relate. I had a decent relationship with the president because I was there last year and you know I had a great season. So he continued paying me for the first four months. Afterwards, I went for the fifth month. He's like, look, I'm not giving nobody money until y'all start winning. I said, okay. Waited a couple weeks, you know, because you really don't want to leave with that money sitting there. Waited a couple weeks. He still didn't pay. I said, okay, it's time to go. So I just went over there. I'm like, look, man, I have no more money. I'm like, bro. You know and I mean, just telling him that because you got to do something with one of your players. He reached into his pocket, he gave me 500 euros. I took it and I said, I'm out. I said, I'm leaving. Left his house, went, got my uniform. We had practice that night, dropped my bag off at the gym, told him I'm out. I went to the travel agency, <laughs> paid for them to push my flight up and I left. Um, especially this one place, MZT. They play in the Adriatic League. Really, really good team. Um, we're in the game. They, I just hear something loud on the court. Boom! I'm like, what is that? I look down. It's just like a one of their coins are like probably the size of a, um, a silver dollar, and it's worth like ten cents. But it's like the biggest coin. I just see a whole bunch of them coming. Boom! 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 And um, I kind of move like towards the baseline because you know they're throwing it like towards the center of the court. I get close to the baseline, and someone spits on me. Boom! Nice goop of spit right on my shoulder. I'm just like, damn, you know. So one of the Americans on the other teams like, like, don't react. Like, just kind of you know, get out of the way, man. You know, and they brought us into the locker. Um, you react, and it's over. You know what I mean? So. I'm st actually, I started getting used to that. I was just like, this is the norm. Right? Somebody's gonna throw something on the court, the game's gonna stop, firecracker, whatever. The M80s during the game, boom. Firecrackers on the court, left and right, toilet paper to mess up the game. There were, some, there were a lot of games in Macedonia where uh, the team's fans would get suspended, so there'd just be an empty arena. We had a lot of games like that because the dudes were so wild. One of my boys, I'm not gonna say his name, I'm not gonna embarrass him. We go out. We go get some drinks, here's some girls, he's probably trying to impress them. Um, <laughs> so he like got a little section, whatever. This weird looking club, 
very weird looking place. I'm not big on using my credit card in places like that. He, they get his card, and it was weird because the waitress kept asking, hey, just, okay, give me card, I'll get you, give me card, give me card. That's all she said, give me card, give me card, I have what you want, give me card. This is all she's saying, give me card. I'm like, geez, like what's this? He gives her the card. Um, whatever, we get a couple bottles in a little area, whatever. We leave. This is the next day. Had a great night, great time. He wakes up in the morning. Yo, she charged fifteen thousand dollars on my card. I'm like, what? Yeah, she took my card for fifteen grand. I'm like, fifteen grand. It's, the bottles were probably like $300 most. In Europe, it's a little cheaper. $15,000. I'm like, all right, well, let's go. We go back, drive to a place. Place is closed. <laughs> shut down. <laughs> Things shut down. Not closed. Like, we're closed till 7 p.m. Closed. Shut down. Gate. Boom. This is no longer open. Thanks for checking out my story on Overseas Diaries. I'm currently in South Florida training and coaching. You can reach me at jfryhoops.com or you can check me out on Facebook at Jared Fry. See you around.